rate of change of height in trapezoid. This is a thinking problem of our test paper. So I like you to read the problem, make your sketch, solve it, and then look into my suggestions. The question is, a trough filled with water is 2 meter long and has a cross section in the shape of an isosceles trapezoid 30 centimeter wide at the bottom that is 30 centimeter wide and 60 centimeter wide at the top and a height of 50 centimeter. If the trough leaks water at the rate of 2000 centimeter cube per minute, how fast is water level falling when the water is 20 centimeter deep? So that is the question. Now, here are my suggestions of solving it. Now you should know what is the area of isosceles trapezoid. So the area of this cross section which is isosceles trapezoid is half of some of these two sides and then multiplied by height. So that is the area and therefore volume will be area into length, right? So we can write volume of this trapezoid as or this trough as half of height so let me write height as h times top and bottom, right? So in this case, when we are, uh, let us assume that the water level is, let's say, h level high. So let's say at this time, height is h. And this width will be x, the top width, right? So at this time, we are looking at this water volume, which is shown in blue here in this trough, right? So the top edge is x centimeters, the bottom is 30 centimeters, and the height is h at this instance of time, okay? So it is half of height times some of these two things, which is x plus 30. So that is the area times the length, which is 200, right? Times 200 uh, centimeters. When you say 2 meters, then it becomes 200 centimeters. So that is the volume of your trough. Now you're also given that if the trough leaks water at the rate of 2000 centimeter cube per minute, that means you're given dv dt, and leaking means minus 2000, right? 2000 centimeter cube per minute. So this is given to you. You need to find how fast is the water level falling when water is 20 centimeter deep, right? So you have to find dH dt when height is 20 centimeters, when h equals to 20 centimeters. So this is what you need to find. Now as you see, we have a formula here for volume, which is cross-section area of this isosceles trapezoid, half height into x plus 30, and volume will be times this length which is 200 centimeters or 2 meters. Now we can find the volume derivative with respect to time and we'll get dh dt but there is a term which is x here and so that makes the things difficult. So what we need to do now is write x in terms of h. So that is the major thinking problem here. How to do it? So for that what I've done is I've enlarged this view this cross section I've just enlarged it here and then shown you that this is the base of 30 and top is 60 but if I just drop my perpendiculars there I have 30 and 15 15 that is isosceles trapezoid okay now at any instance of time water level is let us say h where the width is x so that is the total width x as shown here now if I drop a perpendicular from a to this top portion then we get kind of a triangle on the side and if you see this triangle then the small triangle ABC is similar to the bigger triangle ADE right these two lines are parallel now since these two triangles are similar ratios of the sides can be equated and they can help us to find the relation between X and H so X basically is 30 plus 2Y do you see that so this total length from here to here is x. From here to here it is 30 plus 2y. So that is x. So we'll find relation between y and h and thereby get relation between 
X and H. So that is the strategy, right? So let's look into this similar triangle once again. So we're talking about a triangle which is triangle ABC and this is similar to triangle ADE. Correct? So you can see that. So they, these two lines are parallel and therefore ratio of their sides are proportional. So they are equal. So therefore we can write from here that y over 15 is equals to h over 50. Now this total height is given to us as 50. So if you see the bigger triangle, so 50 is height of bigger triangle and h is small triangle height, correct? Now here the base is 15 for the bigger triangle and for smaller triangle it is y. So that is how it relates and from here we can write y is equals to 15 over 50 h. Okay? Y simplifies, you can divide both by 3 and thereby you can get this as 3 over 10, both by 5 and you get 3 over 10 h. Now y is 3 over 10 h. But what is x equals to? From here you can see x is equals to this is 30 plus y plus y. So x equals to 30 plus 2y. Is that okay? So we'll use this value x equals to 30 plus 2y and y is equals to 3 over 10h. So we will use, oh sorry, when you multiply, divide them by 5, it is 5 times 3 and 5 times. Yeah, that's correct. 5, it is 10. Yeah. So, so what we will do here is we will replace this value of y here for x and find the relation. Correct? So that is how we are going to get our relation. So, x is equals to 30 plus 2y or we can simplify it right there. So let's simplify it here. There's no space. Let me push the paper a bit in the front and then do it. Okay, so we'll put this value of x here and then figure out what it is. Okay, so we know that y is equals to 3 over 10h and x is equals to 30 plus 2y. So we can write x here as 30 plus 2y and instead of y we'll write 3 over 10, correct? That's what we'll do. So volume is half h. We could have multiplied this also. x is equals to 30 plus 2y. Instead of y, we are writing 3 over 10. So 2 times 3 over 10h and 30 is already there plus 30 times 200. Okay. So, okay. Now we will simplify this. So 200 divided by 2 is 100. So we get 100h. Here 30 plus 30 is 60. Now here we can write 2 will go 5 times. So we get plus 3 over 5. H. So that is kind of a simplified version of our expression, right? Now we can open the bracket. So we get 6,000 plus 100, 6,000 H plus 100 divided by 5 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, 60 H square. So that is the expression for volume. Now from here we can do rate of change with respect to time and so we get dv over dt equals to 6000 dh dt plus 2h times 60 times dh dt. Correct? So that is what you get. Now from here we can simplify what dh dt is and get the answer in terms of dv dt. Right? So we'll take dh dt common so we have dh dt and within brackets we get 6000 here and here we get h times 120 that is plus 120h right so so dh dt is equals to dv dt divided by this now we know h is 20 centimeters so we can plug in the values and calculate our answer correct now 
let's put in the values and try to find the answer. I'm looking for a space in between to fit my things, so that is kind of tricky now. So I'll make a small box here. Okay, so I'll squeeze in some information right there to solve and get the answer. So dv dt we know is minus 2000 and h we know is 20. So we have to plug in all these values and get our answer. So dv dt, let me write this here as minus 2000 and h is 20. So, okay. So anyway, dh dt, let me write here. So dh dt is equals to minus 2000 divided by this term, right? So I'm writing this term there, which is 6000 plus 120 times 20. Do you get it? So 120 times 20. So, so two zeros and 240, 24. This is what we get here. Right? Now we can simplify this and get our answer. So we'll use calculator now to solve this. So we got 2000 divided by, within brackets, 6000 plus 2400, which is equal to 5 over 21, which is 0 0.238 minus. So it is minus 0 0.238. And the units will be centimeters per minute. Okay, So that is what we get as rate of change of height with respect to time in this particular case. Okay, so or centimeters per, per minute. The minus sign indicates that the water level is falling at the rate of 0 0.238 centimeters per minute when the height is 20 centimeters. Correct? So we can write down our answer, and the answer is. Either you could write it in fractions, which was 5 over 21 centimeters per minute, which is indeed better than, than writing this. Minus sign indicates water level is falling. So you said falling water level at this rate. So the, let's have a recap of what we did. So it says the trough is 2 meter long. So connect two meters with centimeters, so it is 200 centimeters, that's the first thing. So length is 200 centimeters. We found the area of cross-section of trapezoid, which the formula is half height into some of the top and bottom sides. Now for water level at any instance of time, let the height be h and x be the top level. Now in this case, the difficulty was we have two variables and we have to write expression in terms of one variable only. So for that, we made use of similar triangles and as we observe from the similarity of the triangles we could relate x with height and once we get the relation then we have volume in terms of one variable which was height height is of our interest so we retained height now derivative with respect to time on both the sides gave related rate of change of volume with rate of change of height and once we substitute the values we can get the answer and the interpretation is that negative sign is falling height. So that is how it is to be done. Thank you.